Southern New Zealand, it's like the land of the lost. It's the very bottom of the world. The water is freezing, the wind howls, which makes the ocean like a washing machine. So trying to film white sharks and elements like that, it becomes a challenge. But uh, that never <laughs> matters to Jimmy. He was telling me on the flight, he was gung ho for this. What's up, JK? Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. And Dickie Shivel was also on the trip to uh, not only bait the sharks, but also to watch our backs. Because the sharks in New Zealand, they're not only some of the biggest, but they're also the most unpredictable sharks in the world. So after a year stuck at home, a 13-hour flight, a two-week quarantine in Auckland, two more flights, and a two-hour ferry ride, Jimmy was now finally getting his chance to dive with great whites again. Look at the shark though, it's gonna turn on the bait. Come check this out. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What an amazing start here at Edwards Island. Uh, Dickie's been wrangling a hell of a shark on the bait line. Coming up from the bottom. Oh! 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 Wow, guys. <laughs> Dickie, you're getting your work cut out for you there, mate. This is the first time I've encountered a great white shark since I was almost killed by one. And let me tell you, it's an emotional experience for me. How do you feel about getting ready to go in the first time? Yeah, mate, it's my first time out here at Edwards Island, and already we've got half a dozen big male sharks around the boat. I know what I have to do. I have to get back in the saddle. I've got to get close to these animals again and reaffirm in my own mind that they're not malicious, and that they're not out to get me. Yeah. Good luck in there, Jimbo. Thanks, Dickie. Have fun. I have to do this if I ever hope to work with Great Whites again. We were anchored in about 22 feet of water, and the dive plan was for Jimmy to go down about 10 feet, get acclimated to the sharks and to the cage, and then when he was ready, he'd go down to the bottom. Hey, Jimmy, is your valve closed? All right, cool. Jimmy, 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 it's topside. Do you read me? Over. Uh, guys, just stand by one moment. Um, stand by, stand by. This is really the most nerve-wracking part. I mean, this is topside. Can you hear me? Over. We all got pretty nervous at this stage. I think Jimmy just needed a moment to gather himself. We were just about to pull him back up. This is topside, can you hear me, over? And then he finally spoke. 
breathed a sigh of relief at that point. But then we all just kind of sat back and let him do his thing. It's like a conveyor belt of endless sharks. It was a really special moment for Jimmy, not just Jimmy, but for all of us, really, because I think we all had a little bit of PTSD. In that moment, it was gone. The visibility was just absolutely spectacular. I could see um, anyway up to 10 sharks at one point. Passed right over my head. It's just given me the most insane passes. This is an animal that, this is a fully mature male shark that could be over 30 years of age. Unbelievable. Jimmy, how's it going down there? Bro, do you need to go down a bit deeper? Yeah, I'm starting to go down. From what I could hear in the comms, it sounded like Jimmy was having a great dive. Probably a lot colder than what he was used to, normally diving in Mexico, but uh, he was really in his element. OK, I've reached the bottom. I can see the whole landscape under the boat. We had, like, at least 12 sharks, and he sounded very relaxed very comfortable in the water there. Water was clear. It's a completely different scene down here. Being surrounded by sharks is Jimmy's thing, and he was having an incredible day. Oh, it looks really familiar. Some real characters, real individuals. One shark in particular really was interested in Jimmy, and it was this shark that had a collection of copepods, or these little parasitic animals on its back, so we could easily identify it. But it kept coming around and coming around and getting closer and closer to Jimmy. The sharks sort of followed him around all day long. This is a magnificent shark. Thank you. 